Right, here we go then. Time to beat the pole lap. This time, the Belgian Grand Prix, which I've got to say, some super fun qualifying and also the sprint shootout today was also a lot of fun. So, Verstappen was the fastest man. In the end, he set a 1 minute 46.1. However, that lap is not going to count because Verstappen has a five place grid drop, which means this man, Charles Leclerc, will start from pole for the main race tomorrow. And that gives us an excuse to use the Ferrari for a change compared to the Red Bull, which I'm always happy to do. So we're going to see if we can beat Max's lap. I've tried to simulate the track conditions to the best I possibly can. So I've set the conditions for a bit green and slippy. So the track should somewhat replicate what they had in qualifying yesterday. It's going to be hard to get it fully accurate, but hopefully you guys appreciate the effort. And if you're going to enjoy the video, then let's try and smash over a thousand likes. Ambitious target, but I trust you guys to do it. And also it shows me you guys are still enjoying the series and you're showing your support for it. So yeah, also if you're new to the channel, I'm trying to reach 100k subs this year, guys. And I'm very close now, nearly 5k away. So if you want to help me out, consider subscribing to the channel for daily F1 content. Also, the summer break is coming up and we have a couple of weeks without F1. So recently we started a classic edition, Can I Beat the Pole Lap? Starting off with Michael Schumacher's pole lap at Monaco in 2012. And we're going to do an episode every weekend for the next few weeks or so until F1 returns to Zandvoort the week after. So with that done, intro out of the way, let's get to work and let's see if we can set a decent lap time. So through the final chicane, we're going to get a banker in and see how we go. It should be okay, I've done a bit of testing, so we're not a million miles off the pace. Apologies for the full seat back rattle, we'll fix that for the next run. Turn one, nicely done, bit of little spin out on the exit though as we head down the hill towards Eau Rouge. Should be flat, hopefully, tires are warm. There we go, easy, flat in eighth gear, DRS. We'll move from side to side a little bit just to reduce the, the wheel rattle down the straight. They come. Brake. Just after the 100. Fourth gear. Float the car through. Easy does it. Nicely done that. Turn 8. So much understeer. Easy on the throttle. Turn 9. This is where Stroll stacked it in the shootout. Car working pretty well so far on a default setup, haven't done any adjustments yet. Sixth gear through two on. Carrying the speed into the Fania chicane. Gonna start this inside curve, which can be a bit slippy. Second one. Easy on the exit. Stav low. Very tight lap so far. Stav low two. Slight little lift just to make sure we make the corner. As there is a lot of understeer. And let's see then what this first bank lap will be. Blanchemont flat. No dramas. Just got to try and keep it tidy. Into the bus option again. Break at the 100. Turn in early to get the front end in. On the exit, smooth. Up to the line. A 49.7 banker. Not bad. Right. Let's play some adjustments. Let's get some faster tyres on and let's see what we can do with a better lap time. I think we're probably going to beat it, but it's hard to get the conditions exactly the same. But I think I've done a decent enough job that it's going to be a challenge. So now we're talking pretty serious business. Soft tyres on the car. Also cut down on the fuel. I'm not completely empty because in real life they were running on relatively foolish tanks because obviously you want to be on the track at all times to get the best conditions. But yeah, soft tyres should make a difference and also fuel reduction along with the more engine mode to help us out so let's see if we can get a decent lap in here we're gonna prepare the engine mode and now get underway too much engine mode may backfire as we may lose the back end on traction zone so we'll take it easy for now turn one completely forgot to hit the apex but we'll get a strong exit though as a result of that wider line and we are up on our lap time already so Finding the traction and the grip for a Rouge and Radion. Keeping it within track limits, which we'll try to respect eventually on our best lap. Take a breather as we head down to Lake Com. 
My target is to beat the lap already on this lap, I think. I reckon I can do it. Soft tires are going to make a big difference. Easy through here. There's not a lot of grip through Malmody there. Just have to kind of slide my way through. Turn 8. Going wide with understeer. Easy. Turn 9 as well. Just make sure we get the car tucked into the camber. Into the little gully to get the rotation. Poo on. A little bit wide of the apex, but good enough as we head down to the chicane. Fourth gear, just stay off that inside curb. Same for the second one. Exit curb is okay to use. A little bit wider stab low, but tidy, although we just have a snap there. And oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Running wide under steer through Stavlo 2, that might just ruin the lap. But we'll try to finish it so we get some references for the next attempt. We'll have to break for the bus stop. We'll try and go for just after the 100. Oh, bang on the 100. Even that was a bit wide. Easy on the exit. Up to the line we go. 47 0. Right. I reckon we'll go again, so we'll just say cool down lap real quick, but I reckon we can beat that without the mistake we made. Now we're going to try and hopefully do a better version of that last lap, and also use a bit more engine mode as we know we can push it a bit more, so exit, let's make sure this is nice and tidy. Target for this one is to try and get into the 45s. Here we go then, turn one. Breaking a bit earlier this time, managing to get a bit closer to the apex. Traction on that exit curve, not particularly great, but we're going to find time as we're half a second up. The exit and the engine mode making the difference. Just about the track limits there through Radion as we got some understeer at the top of the hill. Still half a second up now, six tenths up as we close out sector one. On the brakes, fourth gear, just caress these curbs. Don't overdo it. A little bit of camber there at Malmody to help get the car turn. Turn 8. Going to try and extend the braking zone, but miss the apex on purpose this time. Trying to take the rule lifeline to see if it makes a difference. That was better through that. Carrying way more speed through turn 9. Who on? Still not quite able to get the apex. Mose isn't quite turning in. Fang the chicane. Fourth. That's more like it. Picking up a later apex to open the line up a bit more. Stab low. Fourth. Avoid now losing the back end. We have a slight snap and a very faint lift, but there we go. We go through cleanly. And now we're up by over a second. Now this is going to be a big lap. Just got to close out the bus stop and keep it clean. And this should do it. Oh, that was close for track limits. Breaking at the 100. This time not running so deep. So we get a better exit. We're going to take the ball spin up to the line. 44-8. Lap time destroyed. Right then. We'll go for one more attempt. We'll empty out the tank for one fly to see if we can do it. And we'll just see how fast we can really go. Mm. Track limits. I want to try and get a clean lap in. We're going to go into the probably the low 43s, but it has to be clean.
There we go. 43.9. So in the end, I'll take that. Decent lap. Small little tweaks, but for the most part, kept it smooth, kept it clean. And that's what matters. So another W in the wing column, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, let's run through the setup real quick. Right then, let's talk setup. So for this one, soft tires on default pressures, fuel, 10 liters of fuel. So three and a half laps, that is what it equates to. Electronics were set to hot lap and motor. So the highest possible for maximum straight line speed. Aero, default, except for rear wing, which I went down by a click to give myself a bit more straight line speed. Also a bit more of a lively rear end. So I could kind of, you know, drift the car in turn one and then sort of things which help with lap time in the wet. Alignment, default. Sensors default, dampers default, drivetrain default, brake bias 52 for this car, halo default, dampers default, everything else the same, and then steer assist on 90 to avoid the rattling I was getting at the beginning. So there's your lot. There we have it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. And yeah, another one to me. To be fair, it's been a pretty good season so far. We've had some really good laps, and we've also beaten most of the pole laps so far. So, so far, we're doing a decent job. But yeah, guys, like the video, like I said before, let's try and smash over a thousand likes. We've got plenty of classic content coming over the next couple of weeks. Subscribe for that to not miss it, and also do more daily F1 content on my channels. I'm trying to reach the 100k mark. And yeah, down below, links to the mods for the track, the car, uh, the track modifications, all that good stuff. Check it down below. And yeah, as always, a big shout out to the members. You guys are legends, always there, always supporting. Much appreciated in the comments as well. Always see you guys down there. And yeah, finally check out the two videos on screen and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and it's goodbye from me.